Welcome back. In the previous video, we saw how we can read CSV data, and now we're going to see how we can save or write uh, CSV data. So let's say we've loaded our data frame, we've manipulated the data, maybe updated it, changed a few values here and there, added new columns, removed rows, things like that, and now we wanted to save it, maybe to send it to somebody else or to, uh, you know, save it for later processing. It's quite easy to do that with pandas. All we need to do is to use the to CSV uh, function as we are, we're going to see. So let's import our data, uh, our pandas as PD as usual. We've seen this raw data dictionary before. I've borrowed it from one of the previous videos, from one of the previous uh, Jupyter notebook that, notebooks that we've created. So let's create a dictionary and then create a data frame out of it. And now we can save that uh, data frame as a CSV. And the function to do is, this is a function inside the data frame. Now it's not coming from pandas directly. It's not like pd.readcsv as we saw before, but now we have the data frame and we use a function uh, inside the data frame uh, module to do the saving. If I run that, it'll save it to slash home slash neuradian slash download slash data.csv. Do that and if I display the contents, the data frame contents, uh, the one we've saved, it looks like this. Uh, a few interesting things to discuss here. The first one is by default the separator is a comma and we can uh, by the way have a look at the parameters that it uses and it's quite you know it's quite actually a few of them. So the separators comma by default the NA representation the not available how, what, what, you, what you want to do with that uh, whether you want the header or not by default it's true. This index equal index equals true is quite interesting we'll see what that means um, uh, what else do we have the encoding is none by default uh, you can actually use compression if you want and that's quite interesting to reduce the size uh, the quote char I've not spoken about this this is the issue when you have you know if you're for example your separator is comma and then one of your values has comma within it uh, by default if we don't um, enclose that into quotes then it'll be that comma will be read as a separator and it can lead to errors in reading or writing the files so we can uh, surround that or enclose enclose that into um, double quotes the line terminator by default is slash n and so on and so forth several options so let's have a look at the stuff that we've just saved and uh, if we read it so we've saved it to this file here if we read it if we read it, df, we've seen this before, pd.readcsv, save it in a data frame, in a variable called data frame 1. And if we display it, then we notice we have an extra column here, unnamed 0, and then the, value, the values are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, like the index. The reason for this is that, as we saw here, the index is true by default. Uh, where is it? Yeah, index and pandas by default saves i'm sorry pandas by default saves the index as a new column and we can disable that by saying index equals false if we run that we have a look at the data frame we read it again and display it now and you notice that column has gone i, did, I didn't have it uh, a column name uh, or a label uh, pandas by default gave it unnamed zero uh, but like we said before, it's quite convenient sometimes to disable the index. Uh, what else? We can also change the separating character instead of comma. We can say, for example, let's make it uh, slash t. Save. And then when we read, we're going to have to... If we don't specify that, then it'll be like a mess. But we need to say separator equals slash t and we'll move mouse away and then now the data frame will read nicely right uh, what else can we talk about here um i think i think that's that's good enough for this video and if anything comes up you know uh, in the future we'll deal with it but generally this is how you read and write csv files and this is how you change the separator turn the index into false and uh, we spoke about using the first row as the header yes or no disable i'm sorry uh, true or false disable or 
uh, enable and always have a look at the documentation by doing shift tab here on your Jupyter notebook you can you know get it larger to have more display space and you can read through the variables I'm sorry through, through the parameters um, that you would like to use this so the compression for example is quite interesting you can say compression equals uh, gzip or xz or bz bz2 uh, it's up to you if you wanted to reduce this file size you can play about with the quote uh, quote char uh, and so on and so forth I think I'm gonna stop here and like I said if anything comes up in the coming videos we should be able to deal with it so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video